Yo, yo, what is going on, everybody? It is D Man coming back at it again with another YouTube video. And today we're going to be talking about Sammy Watkins and uh, his decision, and uh, if he does choose the Titans, what it does for us. Now, first and foremost, we've got to talk about the other teams that are available for him to choose from. Obviously, you got the Colts, you got the Ravens, you got the Texans, you got the Titans. Now, the Texans, I feel like, are completely out of this. You know, who knows? He might end up signing there, and I might look like a, a complete fool. But I just don't think so with all the drama with Deshaun Watson. And they just don't have much to offer for Sammy Watkins. Now, if he wants to go to a winning team, you know, all three of the other choices are winning cultures. You got the Colts, you got the Ravens, you got the Titans. Now, if he wants to go and perform well and also be in a winning culture... I think he's got, it's either the Colts or the Titans. So, you know, I don't want to, not hating on the Ravens or anything, but Lamar Jackson's arm is a bit of an issue. Now, I don't want, I'm not a hater of Lamar Jackson, guys. I think he is a great quarterback, but I do think that Sammy Watkins has to take into consideration here. Um, I think the best option for him is the Colts. Um... Because he's going to get the ball, you know, the Colts are going to throw the ball a lot more than the tight, uh, yeah, than the Titans because we're a run first team. But um, if he wants to get, uh, you know, it's tough. Uh, the Ravens, the Ravens are interesting because um, Lamar Jackson doesn't like to throw to the outside a lot. More like you, you'll see more slot receivers going to the Ravens because you know Lamar likes to keep it short and stuff like that. Because if he gets you know outside the numbers, kind of gets a little bit iffy. Um, we'll say iffy, uh, you know, because he, he, he tends to turn the ball over if he throws it outside the numbers and stuff like that. But um, you'll see where the Ravens get more of slot pieces, uh, you know, those type receivers. Um, but if I'm Sammy Watkins, I think the two options are going to be the Colts and the Titans. Uh, now, I think the Colts are going to end up offering a better deal, uh, but I do think if he get if he comes with the Titans, he's going to have uh, a better opportunity because of our wide receivers. Uh, we don't have um, we have that guy in AJ Brown, but with Josh Reynolds coming in and Sammy Watkins potentially coming in. He can go ahead and take the role of a, maybe a solid two if Josh Reynolds isn't that two just yet. But we'll just have to wait and see. And I think Sammy Watkins could help. If we do end up picking up Sammy Watkins, this does change a lot because the draft, I think we would have to go for a defensive player, uh, maybe a cornerback in the first round, maybe try and trade up or something like that. Um, J.C. Horn, Patrick Sertain, I don't think we can trade up all the way to for him. But two guys to look out for there. But... It, you know, more than likely, I'm going to say it's about a 25, 20, 25% chance we end up picking this dude up. I think he's going to go to the Colts. I think the Colts have the best, uh, you know, the best chance to get to land Sammy Watkins because they probably have the better offer and they, Carson Wentz, you know, he's a, he's a good quarterback. And I think that the Colts offense is going to give Sammy Watkins enough opportunities for him to be intrigued. And they are going to give him the best value, to, you know, regards to uh, money-wise. So I think that's that's where he's going to go. But if the Titans do end up picking him up, this would help out a lot, I believe. Um, picking up Josh Reynolds, picking up Sammy Watkins would be two huge pickups in free agency uh, to go along with A.J. Brown. And maybe we draft someone in the second round, someone in the third round, maybe a wide receiver. Um, or, like I said, yeah, a wide receiver, second or third round that... These guys could, you know, the rookie could look up to these guys and, you know, kind of build a culture around him. Uh, and then, you know, maybe Sammy Watkins, we signed him, obviously it would be a one-year deal, uh, and then we would end up, you know, releasing him or uh, cutting him next year uh, if that wide receiver does potentially any good. But I do think that's a potential option there. But if the Titans do end up picking up Sammy Watkins, I like the pickup. Y'all got to let me know down below if you guys would potentially like this pickup. Now, he is meeting with the uh, the Baltimore Ravens right now. As you guys can read the tweet from Adam Schefter, this was about a, this was like a whole day ago. Uh, you guys see March twenty second, five nineteen. 
So right now he's in Baltimore. Tomorrow he's going to be in Indianapolis. And who knows? Today he might just say, all right, I'm signing with the Ravens. But I doubt that's the case because I think he's, he's – I think, like I said, if I was Sammy Watkins, I'd make sure I go to the Colts and see what their offer is, because I think he would, you know, I think Sammy Watkins would be able to thrive more in in the, you know, on the Colts. Um, so I would end up going to, I would, uh, you know, go to Indy, see what they have to offer, because uh, I do like Indianapolis Colts a little bit better than the Ravens. If I was Sammy Watkins, uh, see what they have to offer, and after tomorrow. We might see something like Sammy Watkins signing with the Colts because I would definitely see that happening tomorrow. Um, and then if nothing happens tomorrow, we're the next targets because I don't think the Texans, obviously they're interested, but I just don't think that they have any anything to offer because, I mean, you, you saw what they were last year. Sammy Watkins is also a great receiver because he's coming from the Kansas City Chiefs who have so many so many weapons on offense that he kind of gets lost in the mix there so for him to come from a a nothing but weapons place in kansas city uh you know winning culture there to potentially the titans that would be awesome as well because he would get more uh, opportunities rather than you know when he was on the chiefs he didn't get many you know many opportunities because he was like lost in the mix there um uh, so yeah, I think this would be a great pickup for us. Y'all gotta let me know down below what y'all think about that. Like I said, if nothing happens tomorrow, um, that means we have a good shot at him. I think if I'm gonna go ahead and put my money, if I had to put put money on this, I, I'd have to say tomorrow he's gonna sign with the Colts. Uh, that's just gonna be me. Um, maybe he signs with the, the Ravens today. I, I I doubt that, but it's possible. Uh, but he's gonna visit the Colts tomorrow. Uh, at least it's scheduled because we saw that Dory Jackson was scheduled to meet with the Eagles, was it? I think it was the Eagles, and he met with the Giants, saw, met Logan, uh, saw Logan Ryan, um, and bada bing, bada boom, he signed with the Giants. So, could sign with the Ravens uh, today, but I do think he's going to wait and go to Indy, see, what, see what's all you know uh, going on there, see what the offer's going to be, because uh, I do think he's going to have a better opportunity in Indianapolis. Uh, but if nothing happens tomorrow... Who knows, the Titans may have a shot at picking up Sammy Watkins, who I think would be an awesome addition to what we already had picked up in Josh Reynolds. So, yeah, we'll just have to wait and see, because if we do end up picking that up, picking him up, we're going to have to see what we can do at in, in the draft, because that's going to change up a lot, because we, I was thinking, if we don't pick up another wide receiver, if Sammy Watkins doesn't come to the Titans, or doesn't sign with the Titans, I think we got to draft a, a wide receiver in the first round. But if he does come to the Titans... I think we can draft a wide receiver in the second or third round and maybe go for a corner in the first. So, with that being said, that is going to do it. Let me know down below what y'all think uh, about uh, Sammy Watkins and if you think that would be a good addition to the team. So, yeah, that is going to do it for the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. Until next time, I'll see y'all.